I'm Ramina Percy and welcome back to Earth from Space. Today the Copernicus Sentinel-3 mission takes us over the Korean Peninsula in East Asia. The peninsula is divided into two countries. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea, known as North Korea, and the Republic of Korea, known as South Korea. North Korea is divided into nine provinces, with Pyongyang being its capital. Pyongyang, which can be seen in light grey, lies on the banks of the Taedong River and is on a flat plain around 50 kilometers inland from Korea Bay. The capital of South Korea is Seoul, in the northwest of the country, and is around 50 kilometers south of the North Korean border. As we can see, the Korean peninsula is mostly mountainous and rocky, making less than 20% of its land suitable for farming. The Yellow Sea owes its name to the silt-laden waters from the Chinese rivers that empty into it. It is also one of the largest shallow areas of the continental shelf in the world, with an average depth of around 50 meters. The waters off the coast of Korea are considered among the best in the world for fishing. The warm and cold currents attract a wide variety of species, and the numerous islands, inlets, and reefs provide excellent fishing grounds. Sentinel-3 is a two-satellite mission to supply the coverage and data delivery needed for Europe's Copernicus Environmental Monitoring Program. Each satellite's instrument package includes an optical sensor to monitor changes in the color of Earth's surfaces. It can be used, for example, to monitor ocean biology and water quality. And that brings us to the end of this edition. Join us next Friday at 10am. I'm Ramina Percy from ESA Web TV Studios and thank you for watching.